I don't think any organization can truly comprehend what their cloud identity model looks like and the implications of that cloud identity model. And I call it model in the sense that we go through this exercise as organizations to define roles in an, in an AWS environment, for instance, a role that should be able to access this. And then the users that can use that or who can assume that role to do those activities on that behalf. Um, that's a really simple concept, but blow that out to we have 45, 50, 60,000 roles and we have trust between those roles. We have third party organizations that have been given permission to come into our cloud environment we have seen in customer environments where their HR system can literally shut them down. So they've elected to onboard a third party, a trusted third party, by the way. It's not that the third party will, it's that in cloud, you form relationships at a cloud to cloud level with vendors, with other parts of your business that permit access to sensitive areas purposefully without maybe truly understanding or recognizing the fact that that now means that if my HR company is breached, I'm breached. If this vendor that I use to do auditing of some part of my infrastructure is breached, I'm breached. We all, and we're all guilty of this. How often does it come up on your phone that says, do you want to authorize G Suite to access your whatever? And you just hit okay. But at a corporate level, we see customers with hundreds of third-party integrations in their cloud environment. They have generated trust relationships between their cloud and hundreds of other entities, be it an app for this, an app for that, a vendor that does this. These are all paths to get in. And Sunray is the only platform that can really truly give you the picture of what does that actually mean to me as an end user, as, a, as, an, as an owner of this cloud infrastructure. Without Sunray, you won't know that that vendor through four hops, five hops, six hops can actually move from the trusted environment that you gave them in to monitor your development estate can now be in your production environment grabbing all of your actual customer data and exfiltrating it through your cloud, right? That's, to me, what we do is so astoundingly complex, but elegant. The clouds are truly they're very systematic, they're very, they're not magical, but they can be leveraged in a way that no human can really comprehend, right? When you have literally 500 million routes through your cloud, no human can conceive of what 500 million routes means. What does that look like? Don't know. Which one should you get rid of? Don't know. Where are the nodes that you should go in and highlight and get rid of right now because they're not used, they're not needed, and they are highly exploitable?